So guys, back in the shop. Up on the Impala. Project becoming bigger and bigger by the day. So I think I got the front like I wanted. Put the stock tires back on it. Now I'm working on the back. So the offset on my wheels, not quite like I want it. I could ride it like it is, but for my outbags, I want to be able to lower it down in the back. So I need to tuck my back tire a little bit. So in order to do that, I'll cut the rear end. I think I'm gonna cut about an inch and a half or two inches off of it. I was gonna do it in the car, but I don't think I'll be saving much time. I'm gonna put some extended lower con well, control lines up and lower control lines on it also. So, with that being said, next step in this project. Got to start unbolting stuff so I can pull the rear end out. Take this emergency cable off. So now I'm taking the dry shaft out. Both loose, pull control on. Got the uh, dry shaft out. Got the brake line loose. Got all my nuts off. So now I'm gonna put it on the ground, set it up on jacks, and knock the knock the bolts out. The rear end ought to be out. All right, so I got the rear end out. So the next thing I'm going to do is take it outside and set it up, start cleaning on it, try to get all this rust off of it. So I got the ends cut. Now I have to get ready to bevel the ends. So I can weld it. Alright guys, so I got the ends beveled. Got my mark lined up. I'm gonna set it up and get ready to tack wheel it all the way around.
right, guys. So I got, got both piles and ends tacked on. I'm gonna put it on the car. Make sure everything right before I wheel it up. All right, guys. So now I got the rear end cut. I want to put it on the car and see how everything fitting before I make my final wheels on it. But as you can see here, I got some. I'm about some new tubular control on for the back. So I'm gonna get these out and check these out and use these to set the rear end in the car. All right, so I got the old control lines out so I can get some measurements. I think I'm gonna make the new ones about five eighths of an inch longer to move the rear end back to the center of the wheel wheel. I think I'm gonna start out there. You know, see how that fits and probably have to adjust the upper to get my pinion angle back right. But that's what I'm gonna start with. All right, guys, so before I finish test uh, welding the rear end and paint it, I put it on the car to get the test fitted. Make sure I got everything right on it. That's fitting pretty good. So I guess I'll pull it back out now and finish welding on it. Start putting everything back together. Place. 